So here is a problem involving differential equations uh, from JE Advanced 2017. The problem is given as, so there is an LHS which has got the dy term and there is an RHS which has got dx term. And then there is a very complicated looking functions involving square root of x. And then there are boundary conditions specified that is y of 0 is given to be root 7. We need to find out what is the value of y at the uh, point x is equal to 256. Okay, so first thing to do would be to, uh, since the variables are nicely separated out, we can uh, solve this differential equation by simple integration with respect to x. So how do we do this? We can write it as dy is equal to, it is 1 upon 8 root x times square root of 9 plus root x times this entire expression. So square root of 4 plus root of 9 plus root x okay and so this times dx this is dy so if we can somehow manage to integrate this particular expression we are done so we just we will have to make a substitution and the best candidate for substitution would be this uh, variable that is root of 9 plus root x because it appears everywhere so if we make the substitution that is square root of 9 plus root x to be equal to t or in other words we have 9 plus root x to be equal to t square and we can simply uh, find out what is the relationship between dx and dt. So the relationship is it's clear that 1 by 2 root x times dx is equal to 2t times dt. Okay, so we are clearly getting the required thing. So we obtain that dt is equal to 1 by 4 times, so 4 times x, uh, root x times t, which is square root of 9 plus root x. Okay, so which means now we are in a position to uh, integrate this uh, considering t. So this integral actually simply becomes, so this part is taken care of by the d t thing. So we will have to only take a 1 by 2 because there is 8 over here and there is only 4 over here. And we can write this as square root of 4 plus t, okay, dt. Okay, so very good form. We can very well integrate it. So what happens if we integrate both sides? So if we integrate both sides, uh, we obtain it is equal to, so you can take the integral and we will get it as square root of, so we get on integrating uh, dy, we get y equals root of 4 plus t and of course the constant which we need to find out. Alright, so let's see what is the thing. So root of 4 plus t, uh, in order to avoid confusion, let us write down everything in terms of x. So we have square root of 4 plus root 9 plus root x plus c okay now it's given that y at the value 0 is equal to root 7 so if you substitute 0 here we get so y of 0 if we substitute here we get root 7 plus c but it's given to be root 7 which implies the value of c is equal to 0 okay now let us find out what is the value of 256 at the value at x is equal to 256 so y of 256 will be then equal to square root of 4 plus square root of 9 plus or uh, root 256 becomes 16 and that's it. So this becomes root of 4 plus root 25 which is thing. So we get root of 4 plus 5 which is root 9 and therefore the answer is equal to 3. Okay. So as you can see it's a routine calculation just that uh, the only thing which mattered in this problem was making the right substitution that is 9 plus root x is equal to t square.